In this video, I'm going to show you the most dominant blitz in Madden 22. Now, a quick, pre, uh, quick disclaimer is if you are facing someone that is running a two running back or a two tight end set, my recommendation would be to go back into some of these nickel sets or even some of these three four sets, depending on how heavy their run set is. But a lot of people in this year's game are running three wide receiver, four wide receiver, or five wide receiver sets. So if they're running something like that, this is going to be perfect for them because you're not going to get weak box, okay? Weak box is what happens whenever someone comes out in a heavy set and you come out in a dime set and you're basically, all your players are gonna run slower. A lot of times you get instant pancaked. And so it's just not a good plan. So my recommendation, like I just said, is if they come out in a two tight end or a two running back set or a heavier set then come out in nickel okay but other than that you can run this defense now i just released a dime 146 kind of mini guide over at my true fan membership page if you've not signed up for the true fan membership it is ten dollars a month and you can cancel it at any time and basically what that gets you is it gets you access to all of my ebooks. I've already released nine defensive or offensive and defensive guides this season. I've got a 10th one that I'm working on this week. And then I've also uh, will occasionally from time to time release little quick tips or little quick exclusive things that maybe I don't necessarily need an entire ebook to explain such as like a user glitch or something like that. So that being said, let's dive into the video. But if you want to get my full Dime 146 guide, it is at my true fan membership. Again, that's on sale for just 10 bucks a month and you can cancel cancel it whenever you want. So if you only want it for a month, that's fine. As long as your subscription is active, you'll get all of my material. Okay, guys, so let's talk about this. This is the DB Sting, DB Sting to Buzz, and there's two different ways to run this defense, and I'm going to give you my, uh, I'm going to give you kind of the meta way that a lot of pros are running this, and then I'm going to give you kind of my spin on it as to why I think this is the best defense in the game, and it's because of the consistency at which this blitz is going to come in, whether or not your opponent blocks a running back or a tight end. Also, you get great personnel, and you're just going to be able to be very effective against the pass. So, DB Sting 2 Buzz is the play, and the way that a lot of pros run this is they're going to base a line, they're going to press, they're going to uh, crash their line down, and then they're going to take this guy right here and put him in his own, and they're going to basically user this guy right here. And that's pretty much how they run it. And as you see, this works really well. You're going to get double edge pressure. And the beauty of this is if someone blocks a tight end or they block a running back, this is still going to be fairly effective. So on this play right here, I'm going to go ahead and block my tight end. And what you'll see is, again, here's your setup, super simple. And at the snap of the ball, oftentimes you still get somebody free, as you just saw. Um, the same thing is true for when they block a running back. So, again, just baseline press, crash your D-line down, and then zone out that linebacker on the right side, and you're going to use the linebacker on the left side. So if they block a running back, what you're going to see here is, again, same kind of thing. A lot of times you'll get pressure. Now, my personal opinion, this blitz can actually be improved significantly with a couple of other adjustments that are going to make this really, really consistent, Whether they, even if they max protect. So if they block both their running back and their tight end. Because if you watch here for just a second, what you'll see is I'm going to go ahead and block both my running back and my tight end. And oftentimes this does not come in in that situation. As you can see right here, they max protect. And now they can dot you up because you only have a couple people in coverage. Okay. So let's show you how you can make this even more effective with a couple of adjustments and you don't even have to base the line. Literally all you're going to do is, I like the press coverage, but you don't have to, okay? You don't have to by any means. Um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna spread your line, you're gonna crash your line down, you're gonna QB contain, and then you're gonna slide this guy right here off the edge, just like that. And then the same thing is true, basically. You're going to use this guy, and you see here we're only sending five. Now, you see at the snap, what's going to happen is you're oftentimes going to get contained pressure from the left side of the screen. Now, another quick little pro tip with this as far as, like, run shooting, how you shoot the run out of this defense, you can do it one of two ways. So I'm just going to uh, – let's see if I can find just a quick, simple run play from, like, Y trips. Um, you'll see here. So first way you can shoot the run is basically by using on this guy, and you can just shoot the back side gap as you can see right there obviously you can set a safety in there but um i just don't have that in this video the second way that you can shoot the run 
is by using the other linebacker, and this is very similar to the 245 odd. Uh, so you see here, if they run base, I'm just going to shoot right in and try to blow this run up just like that. So there, you can shoot the run on both sides. The reason that's important is because if we want this to come in against the blocks running back with super, super consistency, I like to do this one little adjustment. So again, we're going to QB contain, slide this guy in, and then what we're going to do with Par Parsons here is we're actually going to man him up on the block running back, and we're just going to use our Vandrish. So as you can see right here, that's what we're doing. Now if they block their running back, oftentimes this is going to come completely free. You see how that contain is going to loop around, and we're going to get pressure on the blocked running back. Another little trick with this um, is, again, if you don't want to man up Parsons on the running back, I'll show you that real quick. This is also still much, much more consistent. So, again, we're just going to do kind of our zones here, something like this, you'll see. And I'm going to block my running back. And what you'll see is same kind of thing. We're going to have really good loop pressure against a blocked running back. The other reason why I like this, though, is more in the line of the max protect situation. So, again, spread your line, crash your line down, QB contain, and then you want to slide this guy in just so that he's on the contain. You don't want him to be too far inside. I find that to be a very significant problem. Uh, if I put him too far inside, it does not work properly. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to max protect. And what you should see here is we're going to get that contain looping pressure against max protect. Whereas in the previous example, we were not able to get pressure if they max protected. And the beauty of this is you can use either linebacker that you want. Um, you don't have to even spread the line. Literally just crash your line down, keep it contained, and you should be fine um, for the most part. And I like to kind of stand right here, um, and we'll just show this. Let me max protect real quick, um, but you'll see right here, you see the contains just super scream. So, you know, you could use either linebacker. gives you a lot of flexibility within this. The other beauty of the Dime 146 is that it you can also do this by only sending uh, one person. And I'll show you that right here. Or not one person, but... Um, one side so you see here we could go audible to the cover two sink and you see here we have already it kind of preset for us and as you see this this pressure just comes in super super fast so this is one of my favorite defenses in the game i won't spend too much more time talking about it but this is just a base blitz setup if you want to learn the entire defensive scheme head over to my uh, true fan membership page it's a patreon and it's the best way that you can support me as a creator and also, like I said, uh, for just $10 a month, you get everything. You get all the ebooks, all the tips, all the pro player breakdowns. And we got a lot of that stuff coming because the MCS Ultimate Kickoff or MCS uh, Thanksgiving tournament is right around the corner. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get all that material, go over and join the True Fan membership. There's a link in the comments and there's a link in the description where you can go pick it up.